Arthur told me, Satan is the author of our misery. I've been to the Lord, but where his sword is chariot is fiery. I will tell you, like the Bible told me, your angelic star that twinkles from afar. We a galaxy, love my neighbor like I love myself. Spiritually rich on earth, no wealth. Praise to Christ, the final sacrifice. The blood of bulls never could suffice. Almighty God, curse hung from a tree. The the devil, on a Bruce Lee, he lies and deceives. We die on our feet, not on our knees. Bear with some feet. Billy Graham did last. First release, triple six on the head. Praise God, the beast that rise from the sea on leftovers eat. I bless his feet, never had to be. My brother, water on his feet. Don't have a care, free from worries, words in the Bible. I want to tell you, like the Bible told me, Satan is the author of our misery. I've been to the Lord, but where his sword, his chariot is fiery. I will tell you, like the Bible told me, your angelic star that twinkles from afar. We a galaxy. Don't wanna wham bam, no thank you, ma'am. Christ rule me, the rest fake spam. Fake it, make it, Christ never forsake them. Damn period beats, I wouldn't stake them. Then my guys, part man, part animal, be human flesh, they follow us cannibals. Beast of partners, call me Hannibal. Remote control, can't change the channel. I of a needle, no man for camo. We in a vacation, hand revelations. The sinners racing in any Christ nation. Judgment day, I call it a case, man. Image of God made from the dust. Not the dollar in God we trust. Never in a rush, still blow that cush. I am Jesus Christ, that burning I bush. I tell you like the Bible told me. Satan is the author of our misery. I've been to the Lord, but where his sword, his chariot is fiery. I will tell you like the Bible told me. Your angelic star that twinkles from afar. We a galaxy. Green light to Christ light Through the darkness, through the night He keep us close by his side Armageddon, saints down the ride Green light to Christ light Through the darkness, through the night He keep us close by his side Armageddon, saints down the ride I tell you like the Bible told me Satan is the author of our misery I've been to the Lord, but where his sword His chariot is fiery Tell you like the Bible told me, your angelic star that twinkles from afar. We a galaxy. I tell you like the Bible told me, Satan is the author of our misery. I've been to the Lord, but where his sword, his chariot is fiery. I will tell you like the Bible told me, your angelic star that twinkles from afar. We a galaxy. Yeah, that's my song, Angelica Star. Off my um album Ghetto Gospel. This is my first video. My name's Ronald Jefferson. And I've decided to start off like basically with my testimony into the spirit world. Like and my introduction into the spirit world, I should say. Um Basically the first thing that ever happened to me, I was about it was 2001 or 2002, so I was about 17, 18. I was working at Walgreens, and um, I was on my way home. Something told me to look at the moon. I looked at the moon. It was a full, white, regular moon. I'm like, okay, so I turned back around, and I, you know, I just started walking. And something told me to look back again, and I looked, and it was more of a yellowish color. I'm like, oh, that's, that's still pretty normal, so... Kept walking, and I looked again. Some told me look again, and it's more of like a dark orangish red color. I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> I, so I decided to stop and look for a minute, and it went from that like orangish red color. Actually, went to like a, a green phase too, and it got really. But it ended up being like a complete blood red moon. Like I mean, it wasn't crimson. It was like the blood you cut with your, like if you cut your arm, it was that type of blood. You know what I mean? Um, that that type of blood red. And uh, 
I wasn't scared, but it looked so intimidating, though. It was The moon was very cracked. It had this huge crater in the middle. It almost made it look like a huge eye. It was just, it was craters all over it. It was cracked. It was very ugly. You know, I'm thinking, you know, if the moon didn't give off that beautiful white light, it would be very intimidated by it. We'll get used to it, but it'd be way more intimidating if it didn't give off that light. Because I've seen it without that light. And it, I've seen it red and without that light. And it's like, whoa. If it wasn't for that beautiful light, man, it'd be something different in the sky, man. Um, like, what happened really next? You know, I've seen a double rainbow, which is, I mean, I don't know if that's too supernatural. I've seen, like, a rainbow stacked on top of another rainbow with, like, a black mist in the middle. And actually, my um my kid's mom's dad got a picture of it, but he don't really, it's, I think it's on his Facebook, but he don't even remember taking it. But I remember he, the day I saw it, he took a picture of it that day, so he did get a picture of it. I don't even know how supernatural that is, but, um. I've seen, like, a lowercase Y in the sky made out of clouds, too, but not the way you think, like, I got to make it up. No, it was, like, by by the hand of God or Satan, somebody, it was a perfect, it was like a ruler made it. It was no other clouds. It was the only cloud in the sky. It was kind of low, and it was a lowercase Y. And I was like, whoa, I, I didn't really know what to get from it. It was a lowercase Y. It was the only cloud in the sky, though. I mean, I've seen the end of a rainbow, too, which that might not be, I don't know if anybody else ever seen the end of, like, the start of a rainbow, but it's, you know, they say there's a pot of gold there, it's like, everything's gold there at the start of a rainbow, it's like, this illuminated gold, and a rainbow's shooting out of this, like, this gold spot, but everything's gold in that spot, so it's not actually gold there, but... It's like gold everywhere at the beginning of a rainbow. Like, it's like everything, the grass, everything's just like gold, like glittering gold. But, um, probably, you know, I've seen UFOs too. Not like, not at like an intimidating UFO though, like I've seen on video. I've seen like UFOs, like um, the first one I seen, I was walking home. I, I was staying in Traverse City. Staying at this apartment's name, Bay Hill. I was walking home. I saw an airplane flying. I'm just looking. I like airplanes, you know, whatever. I like looking at them fly. All of a sudden, the airplane kind of disappeared for a minute. And these three lights replaced it. And it was way bigger than the airplane. It's about three or four times the size of the airplane. But, yeah. And it was flying. I just, you know, I looked at it. And I just stopped looking and went home. And um, I saw one at work too, another three dot UFO. It actually flew up in this little area. It was it's about maybe like a hundred feet away. Hundred maybe like half a football field or something. I don't really know distance like that, but the two lights, they went down into the the first the front light. It formed like a L and it went down. I don't, I don't know if it landed to the earth or went into the earth. I don't really know. Um, I've seen, like, an alien cruiser before, too. Like, the one right off of Independence Day. I was at Bay Hill sitting on the balcony. And I sure see one come by. And I actually thought, it's like I spoke to it telepathically. I was like, if that really was an alien cruiser, I want you to come back that same way you just came. And sure enough, it came right back. Like it heard my thoughts or something. It came right back. That same it looked just like off of Independence Day though. Like the one with the can. The can was on. Not the big one. A little fighter one. Um, probably my most like my most weirdest experience. Um, I was going to work one day. It was in June. I remember the month. I don't remember the day. Um, I was really big into the Illuminati at the time. I was talking about it a lot. It was just, I was just, the whole idea that people were worshiping the devil around me, I just it just blew my mind, really. I just didn't know people would willingly ally with Satan. I just thought, I just didn't really, I, when I thought of Satan, I thought of the spirit world. I didn't really, I heard of the synagogue of Satan. I didn't think there were just like, especially the people we look up to. I was very shocked to find out that there's a high probability that they are like sat Satanists or Luciferians or witches or necromancers. They're involved in some type of 
satanic acts, yo. It, it was just amazing because I remember hearing them over the years about selling their soul, but I really thought that was just a metaphor. And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I remember Kanye, he really, he said it probably the toughest. Like, what he say? I sold my soul to the devil. And it was a crappy deal. But at least it came with a couple toys like a Happy Meal. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> whoa, brother. <laughs> That's how it is. Yeah, I was talking about that at the time. On my way to work. I'm going down the hill on my bike. I work at Burger King. I'm 25. I just had a kid. I know I wasn't doing the best in life, but I was working, paying my bills. It's like, I see three dudes on the hill, right? One's doing this at me like this, looking right at me, doing one-eye symbolism. They're sitting in the triangle, right? One has his back to me. I didn't really, he, I didn't really get a good look at I might have been a girl. Or, I don't know if they even was a dude. Could have been a female, but one was sitting at the top, too. And I saw him. He looked like Hispanic or Native American or something. And I had decided at this time that I was going to be like a, a bright light to everybody I met. Like I was going to say hi and just meet them with a smile. Even if I never seen them again, I just wanted to make their life bright for that one moment. So I'm, on, I'm about to wave at them. I'm on my bike. I'm about to wave. I'm smiling. All of a sudden, I hear a voice. <laughs> I hear a voice say, Ron, don't wave at them. They're fallen angels. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> so I put my hand down. <laughs> I stop smiling. I just hold my bike going to work. So I get to work. I work in cashier. I have to go clean the lobby. I get done cleaning the lobby. I turn around. Now the dude that was on top of the pyramid and the triangle, I mean, he's in here. He's in Burger King now. He ordered some food. He's right there behind me. He says, hey. I said, hey. All of a sudden, I hear that voice come back. I'm like, he says, Ron. Tell him you know who he is. And like when the voice said it, I'm like, oh, it can't be. And like, I'm like, well, because I'm thinking it's, it's Satan. Not like a random fallen angel, like the devil. Like, whoa. And when the voice said it, it hit me like, that, it can't be the devil. So I'm, I look at him. I'm like, uh, I, I know who you are. That's how I said it. And he looks at me. And he, he like gets this, the, the, this this face of irritation on his on his face. He's just irritated, dude. He looks at me. He says, "You know who I am." He give me this look. You know who I am. <laughs> I'm looking at him like I didn't really know what to respond because I didn't know like what he was really talking about. I didn't know what he like. I, I don't even know who you are. I know who you who I think I know. I think I know who you are. <laughs> I didn't really know. Then he asked me a series of questions. He's like, "Okay, right? Who's who's my who's the most fa who's my most favorite black basketball player I ever owned? Pay attention, owned. <laughs> he said, owned. I'm thinking Michael Jordan. Now he said Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and I did my googles on him. He used to call himself Satan." And he had six championships. I think he was undefeated in college. And he was actually kind of better than Mike. I'm like, well, I didn't even know about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. But he said, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? He says, Ron, who is my most favorite black singer I've ever owned? And I'm thinking, you know, Michael Jackson? You know, Michael really famous? I know he, I mean, he looked white, but he said that's been a lot ago. I believe him. You know, I don't really know. I said, Michael Jackson? He said, no, no, Nat King Cole. And his daughter. <laughs> he added her in too. Like, oh, he, he said he owned both of them. He's like, Ron, what's my favorite genre of music? I said, um, rock and roll. Because I know, like, I was studying Illuminati. I know those 70s rockers were big into the occult, yo. I'm like, that had to be a favorite generation of music. And he said, no, the, the blues. <laughs> Like the blues. But you, if you know your stuff, the blues is the father of rock and roll. <laughs> if you know if you know your stuff, the blues is the father of rock and roll. And um what happened next? Um let me think. Sorry, I'm sorry. Um 
the voice came back. And he said, Ron, tell him there's nothing that he can give you. And I looked at him. I said, you know, there's nothing you can give me. And he's like, well, Ron, you have so much potential. And it's crazy because the voice said it. And I said it, it said it at the same time. <laughs> My potential's for the next world. <laughs> and I mean heaven, yo. I'm in heaven. You know, I mean, when I die and go to heaven, that's when I'm really living life. Then, not this. This is a test for me to get to heaven, which I passed that test at 20. So I'm just, I'm, you know, I ain't giving up. I want to be something, but life's pretty much over for me. But my potential's for the next world. And he looked at me, smiled, and said, it's a deal. And, you know, I should not have shook his hand. I don't think I should have made contact with him, yo. But I, I, was, I thought he was going to leave me alone. <laughs> Yeah, I thought we were done. He, he accepted my answer. But okay, about a week later, I'm cleaning up my house. I, we didn't have a vacuum, so I got a we had a carpet. We had a vacuum. We got to sweep the floor, so I had dirt swept up into a pile. And the balcony's behind me. Now I'm bent over sweeping up the pile. All of a sudden, I feel this energy come over my body it, it, it felt like molecules or atoms and they were moving really fast like fire it would be fire probably you know I fire the molecules and fire will move really fast I don't know if it was fire but it felt like remember when we were I'm 35 remember when we were growing up and the TV would go out and the white and black dots would pop up just on the screen all over it yeah that's what it it felt like that how that look is how it felt came over my whole body I literally felt it all over my whole body, and then it kind of just settled into my body. Then about a week later, I'm at work. I hear Ron. I look around. Ain't nobody around. None of my coworkers are around. I hear it again. Ron. It's me, the goddess. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm hearing a voice from something that I cannot see. Now, today they would say that's a hallucination, like you're hearing voices in your head. No, I was hearing something from, because this, this, leads, this, this leads to a whole month of things that I did. I want to get into at another video, not this video, but I hear the voice of the goddess and this leads me down a whole path. So I'm talking to things that are there. I, can't, I just can't see them and they're all around us. We just can't see them. Because I it was just wasn't random. These were in-depth, deep conversations with something that was not visually, that's not visible to my eye. But it were deep conversations, though. Multiple, multiple entities. And I was, like, receiving visions, which they'll call hallucinations, too. Like, on paper, when I, I'm schizophrenic on paper. Tell you the truth. <laughs> that's what they say I am. And I'm like, really, I need a priest, <laughs> I believe I'm demonically possessed, but I need a priest. I think a priest, not a Catholic priest, but like a pastor or a reverend or Protestant bathed in the blood of Christ could, 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 could cure me of this. But, I, you know, I'm not crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't crazy, though. It's like Satan told me when I was going through it, I'm doing this. So, when like, when people find out about you being schizophrenic, they won't believe anything you say. <laughs> That's why I'm making you schizophrenic to the world, around so they won't believe anything you say. It's all hallucinations and voices in his head. That's what they think. But, but yeah, probably, let me tell you about my. I'm going to wrap this video up because it's been 20 minutes. Probably my um my last experience happened a couple couple months ago. I'm about to actually start my YouTube channel, all right? And I'm getting everything set up to do it on my phone, checking the volume and stuff. All of a sudden, I got this mirror over here, man. A black specter comes through the mirror, dude. It's like, I'm five foot eight. It's like five foot seven, five foot six. It's humanoid, kind of smoke, made out of smoke or dark energy. It makes a move at me, and I'm like, I get really scared. I get terrified and it disappears. Like two or three weeks later, I had a pair of pants in the spot where it disappeared. You know, I broke my leg in two spots slipping on it. <laughs> Swear to God, slipping on it. Broke my leg in two spots. So, 
I'm going to wrap this video up. This is my first vlog. I'm going to do a series of different types of videos, focusing on different things. I'm reading some books right now. I read the Bible. This is a vlog, though. My RKJ vlog is what I'm going to call it. My name is Ronald Keith Jefferson. This is my first one. I'm going to title it. It's for adults. I'm going to try not to cuss. I do use profanity. I try hard. I want the kids to be able to watch it. So if I do cuss, I will apologize. I don't really know how to edit videos and stuff, so I can't really edit it out, but like, share, and subscribe. I might make a video later, because, you know, I'm on Social Security. I ain't got nothing to do. I didn't have an interview for a part-time job, so hopefully I get it and I'll be working at least part-time. So pray for me on that, because I did pray to Christ. You know, I'm a Christian. I do believe in Jesus. So pray for me, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.